Yeah, so this was these were Ted's quarters. All right, so an old newspaper clipping. Oh, local teens win big science award. It's an old newspaper clipping that shows a very young Bob. And, oh, they've been working together since they were teens. Okay, so they won a science award for artificial intelligence prototype. Judging by their demeanor, their partnership hasn't changed much since then. The article notably praises the display's slick presentation spearheaded by Bob and completely ignores the sciencey parts, which Ted did on his own, obviously. Okay, so there's a dynamic there. Uh, a concerned lab report. Ooh. The la a lab report outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough test subject, the famed female red ruby corn. The one that we saw that's all, it seems like it's locked up somewhere in the facility. Much more concerning than the last one, as it uses phrases like can't be controlled and the corn follow her. And much too British. She is very oddly British. Recommends sequestering subject as soon as possible until further notice. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, God, Ted's journal. This is going to be a nightmare, too. All right, what do we got here? Written entirely in blue pen, it's in perfectly, side par perfectly sized paragraphs, is the most depressing diary known to man. Highlights include many thoughts on optimal sock organization, regrets on his partnerships with Bob, and sadness that his own project, an experimental AI program, couldn't get funded. But, but, Ted, you'd be so happy to know that we, we brought Vladdy Vlad Vlad to life. He is with us now. He is a good friend. He helps us against giant evil corn, the corn of cabra. All right, what do we got over here? Ooh, we have a, a unicorn candle holder. All right. This is a candle holder carving of Dave, the legendary unicorn brought to life by a hungover demigod. The magical creature possessed near-infinite foresight and a complete lack of spatial awareness. It fell to its death immediately after it was created. Oh, oh, poor Dave. Oh, oh, it's the coffee. Yes, it's the jar of Ronka that he wanted added back to the coffee trolley. All right, is there anything else in here? Do you know, I gotta say, though... I do like the color scheme that Ted came up with, even if you are also a complete jerk. The two of you are such jerks. Okay, so is there anything else around here? I guess we can go fill up the coffee trolley. <laughs> you know, very important stuff. All right, let's go back. Oh, come on. Let's go around you, water cooler. And what is this cornucabra up to? Like, what is its master plan? D is it the one that killed? Did it kill Bob and Ted? Also, what happened to Fernando? Like, why did Fernando <laughs> think that that was a good idea? All right. So, we fed the Ronka to the coffee trolley. I'm assuming we need to follow it to wherever it goes now. Oh, no. Oh, this is this is a whole night. Why would you design it like this? Oh, what do we have here? A script for a Broadway musical? Okay. An autobiographical play about the story of an albino corn... Oh, my God. Okay, an albino corn stalk's quest to destroy something called flesh bags. The story has several continuity problems, and the choreography makes absolutely no sense unless the dancers gain the ability to transform into a quantum state and teleport from one motion to the other. I mean, who knows what, what technology is buried in this facility? Okay, so wait, is that the corn's master plan? He wants to mount a, a musical about his life? Do you know what? I mean, there are worse master plans, I guess. All right, a bag filled with garbage. I'm so glad we're taking that with us. Maybe it was the smell. Maybe it was the way the light caught the plastic. But something about this particular garbage-filled bag caught your eye and never let go. You will carry it with you. Always. Yeah, we are... I mean, we're not quite as dumb as the corn, but we're approaching it. All right, so a framed popcorn Taking ad. All of this garbage will not make you less stupid, idiot. I know, Vladdy, but it makes me feel good. So let me be. All right, Bob, I don't care how much you love this third-rate popcorn. Stop framing ads and hanging them here. It's stupid. Cordially, Ted. Oh, my God. He literally just took a popcorn bag and, I mean, hey, you love what you love. If you feel like, oh, if you ask nicely, Vlad, Vladdy can fix the door back to level one. He won't like it, but he'll do it. Oh, the door back to level one locked. Oh, that was the sound. All right, what do we got here? Hiya, Ted. Just to let you know, I spilled soda on some of your things and put them in here to dry out. Nothing serious. Just some old moldy photos and papers in your important file. Sorry, Bob. Bob, I hate you so much. Cordially, Ted. Yep. No, I, I, I think that, that sums it up pretty well. All right. So we open up the kitchen door. And we have a whole bunch of stuff now. All right, so let's go back to level one. So if we remember, there there was the area where there was the stepladder that we could drop down. 
So this is the door back to level one that I guess we can ask Vladdy to, to fix up for us. Vladdy have to fixing everything? Because you're the only one who's not stuff? stupid around here. We need your help, buddy. You know, wouldn't you like to get out of here with Vladdy us? Vladdy not even sure what to fix. Is Vladdy supposed to hit stoop? Oh. Stupid American garbage built by idiots. I mean, this place is built by idiots, so you're not wrong, Vladdy. You're not wrong. Oh, this game is so, so silly. Like, every time you think that you have a handle on what the puzzles might be, they just throw something new right at you. Alright, so yes, there was the area over this way? Oh, where was it? Because there was the area where we saw the step ladder. But where was that again? Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, add the step ladder. Excellent. All right, now we can reach the ladder ladder. Perfect. Excellent. Progress. All right, so where is this taking us? I'm assuming we're going to find ourselves another gear at some point. Oh, this game is so silly. Oh, oh, we're back on the surface now. Okay, so this is where the ring is going to pop up. Oh, God, this corn. I'm not terrified of the corn anymore, but it's more just like the, the one white corn. Oh. Okay, runoff control. Do we want to glue this? <laughs> All right, interesting. Yeah, it's the, it's the white corn that actually has me worried. Oh, what do we have here? It's like a little tool shed. Oh. What is going on here? Very bored. Yeah. What is going on here? This is like a, like a military like bunker or whatever. All right, a boring. Oh, it's the security team. One of the many reports written by the lone soldier charged with keeping the facility safe. After reading this, it seems that it wasn't a problem. Most entry logs are variations on the phrase "nothing to report." Also contains a running count of crossword puzzles solved, which numbers the tens of thousands. Okay, well, at least there was someone here with a bit of brains. And they built themselves a little cup for it. Good for them. All right, we have More ourselves a wrench. Garbage, idiot. It's all we know, Vladdy. It's all we know. Ooh, a pizza flyer. A flyer for a local pizza restaurant that looks like it was frequented often by facility staff. Includes a special for their signature quintuple cheese pizza, which it, off which it offers to customers for free if they can finish it in 20 minutes or less without suffering a massive heart attack. No, that's that's okay. I can I can live without that, that kind of free pizza in my life. And a chair. Not a puzzle item. No, just an item because we want it. You carry this as a reminder to stop every once in a while and to sit clear your mind and ponder on the meaning of all things. You will never do this, not once, in the course of your adventure. Instead, everyone else will wonder why you are wearing a chair as a hat. Oh, I'm glad that we're wearing it as a hat, though. We were definitely, you know, lacking some fashion. Okay, well, enjoy your cup fort that we can't break. I was wondering if we could topple it over. All right, well, <laughs> that's just ridiculous, like all things here. Oh, what do we have here? Hold on. Something in the back. Don't want to leave it behind. We have, oh, a fuel jug. All right. What do we have here? Oh, it looks like someone was maybe playing. Yeah, they were playing a game. A rusty wheel. Okay. In a quiet moment, you will take this rusty wheel and roll it along the ground, wondering what its purpose could be. Afterwards, you will forget you have it. You know, we're very consistent. We forget a lot about everything we're doing almost instantly. So they were playing little horseshoes back here. I, again, I imagine this was a very boring place to, to guard. Since the corn seem mostly just kind of interested in napping. Which, you know, good for them. Oh, what do we have here? Um, sewage runoff? Yeah, this does not look like it's safe anymore. Yep, contains hazardous chemicals. Figured as much from the glowing, you know, green mist coming off of it. And, you know, the sewage pipe running there. All right, anything that we can find around here? Oh, we have a flotation device. Light preserver? No, but it's a f it's, it's for the folio. You like the exotic red and white pattern of this interesting item, which is why you picked it up. It never occurs to you that you might be able to use it to float on water, so you just wear it like a bracelet. Wait, 
What do, what do we look like carrying all this garbage? Hey, little Vladdy. How you doing, little guy? Yeah, don't don't go in the water. That's a bad idea. That's just a bad life choice. Whoever or whatever we are. Sir, this needs some repairs. Yes, it can't do that thing it does anymore. Oh, it's the tractor. It goes places. Aha. remember. Okay, I know where we are. We're we're nearby the the barn near the silo. Okay. Oh god, I just saw like a flash of like white corn and it just gave me like mild heart attack. That white corn might be an idiot, but they definitely seem like the only one who's actually going to try to hurt us. Maybe the Red Queen will, I don't know. Maybe freeing the Red Queen might not be the best idea. But, you know, what are you going to do? Alright. Used wrench to drain chemical runoff pool. The smell remains. Oh, this is for the, the pool. So we drained the pool out now. Alright. Hey, Vladdy, nice to see you, buddy. Alright, so what's in the pool? Do we want to go in here? Oh, there's a key. A toolbox key. Okay. Um, but where is the toolbox? Kind of important. I don't remember seeing a... Oh, another rock. Very important. Uh, ooh, a questionable rock. You're not sure if this particular rock is a rock at all, or simply a very cleverly covered sponge. You have named it Jarvis. All right, Jarvis. We'll keep our eye on you. Just in case. Okay, so, hmm, we have a toolbox key, but no toolbox. All right, well, you'll just hang out on our inventory until we find something. Oh, oh, maybe there was another area out that led from this. What do we got here? That looks like it goes back under. Hmm, so, no toolbox. Hmm, maybe there's one in the little bunker area? Yeah, I really don't remember seeing any toolboxes around here. Yeah, and like the, 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 the guard's outpost? Was there a toolbox in here somewhere? Hmm. I don't remember seeing anything, but I wasn't really looking for one. No, don't see any toolboxes. Apparently, they love that pizza, though. They, I mean, they really love that pizza. I mean, pizza's pretty great. Where are we going now, oh, idiot? man. Somewhere Pizza's one of those in? foods that, like, I feel like the second you start thinking about it, you immediately start craving it. Like, even if you're not terribly hungry, you're like, oh, man, do you know what? I actually could go for a slice of pizza. Hmm. So it's not here. Oh, I wonder maybe if now the area past the corn is open up. Yeah, maybe they open that up after we got the key out. Because I don't see a toolbox anywhere around here. Yeah, we have a lot of items now, though. Yeah, there's nothing in the pool. Nothing around here. We got the flotation device. Aha! The corn moved the boxes for us. Hi, guys. Oh, man, you are some real cre- Like, your, your beady little eyes are a little freaky. Hi. Um, I'm just gonna move on past y'all. Oh. Oh, are we fixing the tractor? Okay, so do we want to add the fuel jug? Okay. Tractor is somewhat prepared. Needs another item to be fully ready. Um, Maybe the half-broken gear? No. Interesting. So we are now back in this area. So we have a toolbox key. I don't remember seeing a locked toolbox, though. That's the problem. Yeah, when we were up here the first time, I don't remember seeing any toolboxes. So I guess we're going to have to look around. Maybe, oh. See, this is smart. This is like a clever, dumb reason to... Oh, oh, there's a tea party in progress. Sorry, my apologies. I'll, I'll be quiet. Uh, this is a really clever, dumb reason. Like, it's clever dumb. That the, the areas get locked off for different, you know, puzzles or, or periods that we're working in. By the very dumb corn who love to just move around the orange boxes for no reason other than, you know, just for funsies. It's a, it's, it's a very good reason. Like, the, the universe of this game is very justified in its stupidity. Alright, so apparently this is question mark hay, bad hay, and good hay. Oh, bloody joints are stiff. 
Vladdy does not know why he bothers saying so, because idiot does not care. I mean, I, I, if I could oil your joints, I would, but I only have glue on me, which I don't think would help what you want. Okay, so we, there's a toolbox. I guess we can go to the silo and we can go to the power thing, like the lightning rod that Fernando torched himself at. All right. So, is there a toolbox in here anywhere? I don't remember seeing anything. And we got the corn. All right, and... Yeah, nothing there. And was there anything over by Fernando? Or what remained of Fernando? What oh. Is this stupid I. It's How y'all doing? Bloody things. And that man appears to be dead. He is extremely dead. Too good, does he? No. No. Rather sickly in appearance. Hmm. A little pale. I don't think so. Do you think he has the mumps? Yeah, that's definitely it, boys. That's definitely it. Oh, oh, is this the toolbox? Oh. What is? It's WT40. Great. Stupid garbage. Thank you. Yeah, you guys might want to get him a medic. I, I think he's gonna need your help. Oh, can we use it on you, Vladdy? Would you like your, your joints loosened up with some WT-40? Okay, so... Oh, oh, this is probably for the, the tractor. Gotcha. I was like, what do we need this for? But that's probably the other item we need to get it running. Perfect. So let's get that on and see what it does for us. Because yeah, right now, what are we trying to do? We're trying to get the other gear so we can get back inside the facility and fix the ring thing. All right, prep tractor, it's good to go. Hop on, yes, Vladdy. Of course, Vladdy should drive this stupid thing. Makes most sense. Oh my God, Vladdy's actually gonna drive it. Suffering. I thought he was just gonna hop on with us. What's a boy, stupid idiot? Vladdy, do everything. Well, to be fair, I don't really trust us Vladdy. to operate a, a piece of heavy-duty farm equipment. Hey, how does Vladdy start this stupid thing? Like this? you can do it, Vladdy. I believe you. You're smarter than everyone combined, so there's no one more qualified. Hey, good job, little buddy. Little Berbochka. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the corn is not going to appreciate this. So that's what it does. Well, that didn't go well. It's fine. Not at all. No, no, I think it went fine. You guys, come on. Vladdy did a good job. You know, he's only got two tiny paws and a robot arm. Give him a break. Well, I definitely don't think it's going to be hard to find where he drove it. Okay, well, I mean, I guess he cleared it. Oh, no, the poor tea party. No. Oh, they were having such a nice time. Vladdy. I mean... To be fair, maybe don't have a tea party in a cornfield, but I guess they are corn. Where else are they going to do it? Oh, wow. They they were really having a party. Vladdy, how could you? Oh, are those like little like cookies? You know, these, these corn, despite being pretty stupid, at least have a very nice time together. Oh, hey, Vladdy. Oh, hi. Do him my Lucy drug. Hey. This place had no purpose, but oh, and what's that, wrong. Vladdy? What's it the purpose? Does. It is to destroy Vladdy. Oh no, Vladdy! It's it not to make you make destroy. It makes it's and make you, you do it, uh, do problem all. solving. It's for puzzles. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You killed my uncle. You killed my. Yeah, we we kind of set that tractor up, didn't we? That's right. We're not helping you anymore. You're mean. Because oh man. A lot of us over business. You could have asked for I'm sorry. Nicely, jerk. I mean, we didn't mean to. I mean, I didn't know, you know, I kind of should have guessed that driving a heavy tractor through a cornfield might hurt you guys. Nothing that will make us change our mind. Nothing oh. at all. Uh, no. nothing? Unless you played that song we really like. Oh, oh. Yes. at our favorite spot. That Wait, what? Work. But nothing else. Okay, so there is one way to win them over. You go. Vladdy fix this stupid thing. You get stupid plants out of the way. Okay. It sounds good. We work together. 
Almost all paths have been closed to you. In case it wasn't obvious. Oh, whoa, yeah. Okay, so the corn is rightfully mad at us for absolutely destroying all of their maybe maybe sentient family members. It's hard to tell. Oh, wow, yes. This area is very closed up. Wait, so what's your favorite spot then? Oh, the windmill is finally open. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So what do we got here? So we need to play them their favorite song in their favorite place. Okay, well, here's a boombox. That's a start. All right, what do we got over here? Anything else? God, this game is ridiculous. So yeah, we need to win the corn, the sentient corn back over. Otherwise, they're not going to help us. And I don't know why we want them to help us because it appears they're not really good at doing anything besides moving orange boxes. I mean, who, hey, who are we to judge? We are no smarter than they are. Or we're barely smarter than they are. Hmm. So, what is their favorite spot? I'm trying to remember if they ever, or it ever came up where the corn hang out. Like, there was the, the military guy who mentioned that the corn just kind of do their thing. Oh, no, he didn't even mention it. Oh, familiar gear half. Okay. Okay, one small path has been opened to us. No, it wasn't It wasn't uh, them. It was uh, Ted who wanted us to monitor, monitor the, the corn. Or wanted the corn monitored. Uh, a discarded letter. All right. A very pointed letter, which was very pointedly discarded in this general area. It appears to be written by a scientist working in the facility and, and addresses the two founders, calling into question their management skills, budgeting acumen, and general intelligence. It's signed at the bottom in orange pen. Only the first name is visible. Ellen. Oh, so there's another uh, character. Helen also worked at the facility. All right. So, ooh, all right, we can continue forward. So we have two halves of a gear. All right. Yeah, it, it was Ted wanted the corn monitored, not, not that the military guy was doing it. Oh, this is their favorite spot, apparently. Okay. Hey, is this, is this, is this, is this going to help you guys get over our corn aside that we committed? Hey, good job, Vladdy. Hey, do you know what? I'm glad we could we could work this out. Do you know what? Maybe it's great that they only have like one brain cell between them all. Maybe that works out for us anyway. All right. Thanks to those rad tunes, a new path has been opened to us. All right. So where where are you leading us? Where where did the where, wait where did the tractor go? I'm assuming somewhere over here a new path is open because that's where they all went. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing we want to get back inside the facility now to fix the gear, right? That seems like the goal. Hmm. So Helen was basically saying you guys are all too dumb to run this place. I'm, I'm filing a complaint. I'm assuming with whoever contracted them to make weaponized corn. All right, so can we go back in? No. Hmm. Oh, water over here. Can we oh, because there. This is where we started off when we saw the corn in the first place. All right, so let's pop our head over here just to see if there's anything. Yeah, we started down this way. Oh, this is where he drove the. Yeah. Oh. Well, you definitely parked the tractor, that's for sure. Well, hey. Stupid thing did job. Next time, you drive. All so right. What dumb thing is next? Oh, this is the propane, the acetylene. Yeah, not propane, acetylene tank. What? Come on. <laughs> okay. That's it. All this yeah, and yeah, no, we 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 kind of goofed that one up, Vladdy. I'm sorry. The water? Why you never say anything, idiot? Oh. You know, it miracle that Vladdy did this. Vladdy had no idea I'm I'm what sorry, Vladdy. Vladdy. So that was probably gonna go Vladdy to the acetylene torch battles. that's in the submarine oh, area. <sighs> we should see where that stupid floating thing end up. Probably in place with all the water oh. because of course it would because everything hits. Is it gonna Vladdy. wash up in that area? Oh, that makes sense because that's where the torch was. Okay. Vladi is wondering why he decided to help you, but if you get into the boat, he'll still fall off. 
I mean, I mean, at this point, at least we're we're the second smartest thing around here. Actually, well, maybe the third. I don't know. The Red Queen seems pretty intelligent. All right, is there anything in here? So yeah, this is where we started. We just like woke up here. Yeah. So yeah, what happened to Fernando, Ted, and Bob? They just like disappeared. All right, into the boat we go, little buddy. Let us gently float down the river and think about the terrible mistakes we've made. Because we've made a lot. Oh, and <laughs> and see under the world. <laughs> All right, let's see where this takes us. I I am very much enjoying this game. Yeah, I have never quite played an adventure game like this before. Ah, there's the propane tank. Okay, so I'm guessing this is now when we use the crane. Aha. Oh, jeez. Um, no. No, no, no. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Cross button. Oh, do I actually have to use this? Hmm, left stick, move crane. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, you're such a you're such a jerk. All right, so, hmm. How do I circle button to exit? So you run away. Hmm. I wonder if I go over here, he can't come out. Hmm. Use item on second crane console. Oh. What do we use here? Use item on second. Hmm. So what do we do? Oh, this is where we make the gear whole again. It's not the glue we need. Gotcha. Okay. There we go. So there's one half. And there's the other half. So this is where we're going to basically fuse it back together. Gotcha. Okay. So what are we using on the console then? Are we using glue? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay. And now do we put this on top of it? There we go. So now we've blocked him from using the, the buttons. Excellent. Okay. Nice try. Uh, corn monster. Oh, the devourer, of course. Yes, because the, the, the popcorn man would be a, a symbol of their undoing. The cornacabra. All right, so we need to, I'm assuming, get it to where that light is. And then, come on, go back. So we need to lift the, the acetylene thing out, fuse the gear back together, and then we can reactivate the ring. Which, man, we've gone about the stupidest roundabout way of doing it. Great, and lower. And I'm at, yeah, there we go, perfect. All right, so now we can bring it over here. Lovely. Pop that. No, no, no. Other way. Other way. Other way. So, yeah, now we can, I'm assuming, attach it back to the torch and then get on our merry way. Perfect. And are you just going to drop? No, I think we need to drop it ourselves. You, you're not wrong. Unfortunately, Vladdy, you're the smartest person, and you're a walking, talking teddy bear. All right, hooked you back up and grabbed the torch. I don't think we're qualified to do this. I think maybe we should have got Vladdy in on this. All right, we got ourselves a fixed gear. Vladdy remembered how to fix the security door. He's hoping you'll never, ever ask him. Oh, I'm sorry, Vladdy. You're going to have to go back in the vents, my little berry friend. What? Uh, Vladdy already fixed, stupid door. Okay, but the door is gonna. Oh, the door is just completely broken. Unfortunately, the little guy. <laughs> oh, Vladdy, I'm so sorry. You have to do so much crawling through these nasty vents. Oh, Vladdy, no. I mean, we definitely owe Vladdy after all this is done. Yep. 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 Nope. That's. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Of course that work. Oh. This is 
stupidest, dumbest place there is. You're not wrong. This 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 place, you know, if there was a concrete slab holding this place up, it would be making would be made nothing of but the stupidest of ideas. Yeah, you could just imagine the foundation of this Oh, orange boxes build nothing with like, you know, Bob's terrible ideas. His his big book of bad ideas. All right, well, let's get this gear back in place and I guess do what the Red Queen wants, but there's one thing that the note told us is that the Red Queen can't be controlled and that she she's after her own ambitions. So was it up this side, I think, that we need to put the gear in? I think. If not, well, que sera, sera. Yes. No? No. All right. We shall put it back on the other side of Laddie. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Your little feeties. Oh, you can't walk very fast. I'm sorry. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. You'd never tire. Ah, Vladdy knows. Idiot is too stupid yes. to be tired. Yes. Exactly. We're powered by our stupidity. It gives us endless endurance. Because we don't even know what tiredness is. Vladdy, you've hit the nail on the head. God, so funny. This game is it really feels like one of a kind it like i said it feels probably closest in humor to maybe like a double fine or maybe like an old lucas arts game but it really has its own like sensibility when it comes to its humor all right so the gears in place let's get this thing turned on hell yeah right. we did it wonderful did we do this? i yeah i don't know either oh no what now? Oh, hi, Corn. Hello. Good to see you. you oh, it's Fred and Bill. Very good job. Yes. Very good. Uh, you do again. Thanks. Wow, we. Yes, that's very nice. Yes, yes it is very nice. Message. We pressed that button that's really well. Right. Yes, it's very important. Okay. And. Do not free our queen. <laughs> oh. No, that doesn't sound right. Was it do free our queen? Well, I really well, wish you would have told us. Whatever the message was. That Good. button pressing was very impressive. Well, I appreciate oh, yes. your, your supportive oh. attitude. Oh, well, right, we should probably go. Yes, that would make sense. So what do we do now? Something productive. Well, Why don't you that? sort some boxes? Yes. Well, yeah, go have a nap. Go have a nap. You, you guys just relax. You you deserve a break. Bye, Fred. Well, Bye, Bill. Bye, Jim. Idiot plant? The stupid, ugly idiot plant? Or you? No, bloody no. Oh, it is you. that hurts, Vladdy. That it hurts. Is. Come on, man. I thought we were in it together. A new path is open. Oh, yes. It, it took us approximately three seconds. Okay, Bob, how is a one-way pneumatic tube at all useful? What part of order elevators do you not understand? This stupid thing is an expensive, completely useless death trap. Twit. Cordially, te tw Ted. All right, no other notes on this. Let's hop in. Let's take the pneumatic tube. Come on in, Vladdy. <laughs> oh, this game. 